Hi guys, my name is Kiva and welcome back to DIY with KB. In today's video, I'm giving you four home decor items that you should invest in. I know I'm always talking about saving money, but sometimes spending a few extra dollars is going to give you so much more. Before we get into today's video, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and check me out on Instagram at kiva.bren. And make sure to stay to the end of the video because I'm going to give you some extra money saving tips since I'm telling you to spend more money in the first place. Now let's get into today's video. So the number one item that you must invest in is a sofa. The sofa is everything in your living room. That's where people come to gather. That's where you watch TV. And that's where many of us have dinner, whether you like it or not. A sofa is worth investing in because if you don't spend a lot of money on it, it's going to break. It's just going to break. I know that really affordable sofas are enticing and sure you get instant gratification because most of the time you could bring it right home. But over time, you're going to have to spend money on four or five of those really affordable sofas. Whereas if you invested in a more expensive one, you're going to be able to keep that for years to come. If I'm saying that you need to invest in a sofa, what do I mean in terms of price? Well, if you're going to buy a two seater sofa, you should be spending around $1,000. If you're trying to get a larger sofa or a sectional, you should be spending about $2,500 or more. Another reason that I'm urging you to invest in a sofa is that when you invest in a piece, you give more thought to what the piece is going to be used for and how you're going to style it. The sofa is so important in a home, especially an open concept because you can see it from absolutely every room. So we wanna make sure that it looks top notch. So if you're spending more money, you're gonna give more thought to it and you're going to invest more in the design process. And that's really, really important. I never want you to be investing in furniture and you're not knowing what direction you're gonna go in with that furniture and the room as a whole. Since you're going to be spending a little bit more money, if you don't have your design style completely refined, I'm gonna urge you to get something like this. So this is a sofa from Macy's. I've had it, it's great, it holds up well, and it's about $3,000 for a sectional. But what I will say is that you can get high quality items on sale. So right now, Macy's is having their holiday sale. So this sofa is about 50% off, which is incredible. So you're getting the really good quality for a lesser price, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But what I love about this sofa is that it can work in absolutely every design style. You know me, my design style has changed a bunch of times and it worked well in my bohemian home, my farmhouse home, and I'm confident that it could work in my modern home too if I wanted it to. So it's really important to invest in pieces that are gonna work not only with your family and how you interact with your sofa, but also with yourself and how your style evolves over time because I don't want you always replacing furniture if your style shifts because that just isn't practical. Now I wanna show you this leather sofa. So this leather sofa is really affordable and that may be enticing to you. However, it only is going to work in a few design styles and trust me, you're gonna get over it. So sure, you saved a little bit of money, but you're gonna have to replace it. And last but not least, my number one reason to invest in a sofa is that you get high quality service. For example, if you're buying any furniture from Restoration Hardware, Crate and Barrel, or something like that, you're gonna get white glove delivery. So you're gonna save time on putting things together and you're going to ensure that they are assembled well. And that is worth money because there's nothing worse than sitting on a sofa you put together and ending up on the floor. I know it has happened to all of us and that's just not what you want, especially when you're trying to take your home to the next level. Additionally, high-end brands will replace items or repair items if you mess them up. And that is worth money in itself because yes, that cheap item might break and you have to replace it, well, this item that you invested in, it broke, and then they're gonna come fix it or they're gonna replace it with the warranty that you have. So again, you're not gonna have to invest more money. This is a one big investment that's going to give you almost a lifetime of satisfaction. The second item that you must invest in is cabinet hardware. I know you're like, Kiva, what? Hardware? My house comes with hardware. I know it does, but it comes with the hardware that everyone else has. We live in a world now where everything is contractor grade. Everyone's getting the same paint colors, door handles, all of that good stuff. So you wanna do something that's gonna set your home apart. And the easiest and most affordable way to do that is with cabinet poles. Sure, it's an investment, but it's a better investment than spending thousands of dollars on something else. So when it comes to cabinet poles, you should be looking to spend between five and $15. I'm not going to encourage you to spend any more than that because it really just isn't worth it. But it's also really important to invest a little bit of money in it because a kitchen is a very heavily used space. You don't wanna get your hardware all scratched up and things like that. Before I tell you more about the benefits of cabinet hardware, I wanna thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. 
They have a wide variety of delicious recipes with 22 plus chef curated recipes each week. That means that there is something for you whether you want a low calorie or family friendly option. Everything I need gets shipped to me with the exception of common pantry items. As someone who cares a lot about sustainability, I love that HelloFresh's meals are pre-portioned, so there is less food waste and most of the shipping materials can be recycled. If you have a busy lifestyle and like to switch up the food that you eat, HelloFresh is the perfect option because you can add extra meals to your weekly order and change your food preferences, and you can even change your delivery days with the click of a button. This Parmesan crusted chicken with creamy lemon tomato spaghetti and Philadelphia cream cheese saved me so much time today. Instead of going to the grocery store or creating a shopping list, I was able to redirect my time to creating content and transforming your houses into homes. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code DIY with KB10 to get 10 free meals across your first four HelloFresh boxes, including free shipping on your first box. After that delicious meal in my kitchen, Let's take a look at my cabinet hardware to see just how necessary upgraded hardware is. I know I'm telling you to invest money in cabinet hardware and I wanna show you just how important it is. Check out this picture of our kitchen a few months ago. This is what it looked like when we moved in and there was nothing wrong with it, but it looked like everyone else's house in our condo building. So we wanted to put our own spin on it. It's not always possible for everyone to paint their cabinets, but look at how important this hardware is. We had basic bar pulls before, they were chrome, and all they really did was help us open the cabinets. They didn't add any pizzazz. What we decided to do is switch out that hardware for both knobs and pulls. On the top we went with knobs and on the bottom we went with pulls. That really added some dimension to the room because they're two different things to look at. I know kitchens are really boring, but they don't have to be, and the hardware really made it a little bit more exciting. If you look on Pinterest, you will see that in luxury homes, they always switch up the knobs and the pulls depending upon what it is. If there's something that you can pull open, you're gonna use a knob, and if it's a drawer, you're gonna use a pull. That's just the way that it is. You can switch things up whether it's the top or bottom, but again, that's just going to make it more exciting to look at. Another thing to note with this picture is that in the second image, we went with gold hardware and that was extremely intentional. You want to choose hardware that goes with your color scheme. If you've ever seen our home, you know that our colors are black, white, and gold and we love it and that's how it's going to stay. The number one thing that you see when I walk into our home is our gilt mirror, which is gold. So we wanted to tie in that gold from the other side of the room into the kitchen because you want everything to look cohesive because what we are working towards is a home whose style is uniform. You want every bedroom, every living room, every single room to have the same type of theme. They don't need to look identical, but there has to be some rhyme and reason to what you are doing. For the modern home, you're gonna want pulls or knobs that have really clean, sharp lines. That is going to make it look more modern and sleek and if you're open to it, get some pulls that are longer. Most people have three inch pulls, but if you go four inches, six inches, eight inches, if your cabinets allow it, it's going to make it look sleeker and larger, which is something that you always want to do. Whereas a lot of people have cat pulls, you know, the ones that look like this, there's nothing wrong with them, but it makes the drawer or cabinet feel really, really small and it screams farmhouse, which is exactly what we don't want it to do. The third item that you should be investing in is a bed. I feel like beds are a super controversial topic and I'm going to convince you why I'm right. Cheap beds always fall apart. Cheap beds don't have a high enough weight limit and they tend to scratch your floor and they're just really hard to put together. You have no idea how many reviews that I've read where someone says, oh, well the bed didn't come with this particular screw or the slats fell apart. You don't want to fall into your floor in the middle of the night. Let's just skip that. Now, if you don't believe me, let me show you some proof. Look at this headboard. Sure, it's only $167, but it has the nailing and it looks pretty boring. I even had this headboard for myself. And when I tell you I put on lotion one time and the whole thing looks smeared for all of eternity. That's not something that you wanna do. Now look at this headboard. Sure, it is a couple hundred more dollars, but it is wing back, it is tufted, and there isn't much design on it. It's really nice and simple. So again, if your style evolves, you're going to be able to use it no matter what. Because when you buy cheaper headboards, if you ever sit against the headboard, you are going to get some serious pilling. 
Plus, if you ever put on lotion or anything like that, you're gonna save the headboard. And when you spend more money on them, they're normally slip covered, so you can take it off, wash it, and put it back on, instead of having to buy a whole new headboard. Trust me, I've made this mistake myself. If you cannot afford to buy a whole bed that is upholstered, what you need to do is buy an upholstered headboard, get a matching bed skirt, and buy a really simple bed base. This bed base here is from Amazon and it's only $70 for a queen. It is really high quality, it allows for some underbed storage, but you can pair it with a really nice bed skirt and upholstered headboard and it's gonna look super luxurious. Unless somebody is looking under your bed, they're going to have no idea that something up top costs hundreds of dollars and what's down below only costs $100. If you're just buying a headboard, you should be looking to spend between $250 and $500. And honestly, that's on the lower end. And of course, price is dependent upon what size bed you have. Now I wanna interject here and say, if you are over the age of 25 and you have a home that can allow for it, we're getting a queen bed or higher. We're not sleeping in a full size bed, there's nothing wrong with it, but the point of a bedroom is to have a bed in it. The bed is the star of the show, so it should take up some space. If you're planning to buy an entire bed, you should be spending between $1,500 and $2,000 at the very least. Again, a bed is something that you can take with you absolutely forever. Like I say all the time, I'm going to die in my cloud bed and I am gonna be happy about it. And the final reason to invest in a bed is that if you invest in your bed, you can save money on absolutely everything else. You guys loved my first bedroom transformation. We spent $2,800 on a bed and I spent $10 on our side tables and I fooled you all. There are the lac tables from Ikea, we covered them in some concrete and that was about it. Because I had such a luxurious looking item in the room, I was able to fool you into thinking that everything else in the room was also very luxurious. But in fact, I didn't spend very much money at all. If you take the time to invest in one piece, you can save money elsewhere. And I want you to invest in the piece that you're going to use the absolute most. I don't really use my side tables. I use them for a cup every once in a while and that's about it. So why would I spend hundreds of dollars on it? I sleep in my bed for 12 hours a day, hopefully every single day. The final thing that I want to say is that when we think about luxury stores, we kind of get scared and don't even look there. But the upholstered headboard that I showed you earlier was about $800 from Wayfair. If you spend a couple more hundred dollars at Restoration Hardware, you're getting pure linen, higher quality, and more drama and height. Look at this Belgian linen headboard. This is a phenomenal headboard. It comes with the bed skirt, like I said. So you're getting that high-end RH look for only a couple hundred more dollars. I'm not saying that you need to spend $5,000 on a bed. That isn't feasible for everyone, and that's pretty ridiculous in my opinion but there are some shortcuts that you can take, so never be afraid to look at those luxury stores. Sometimes the prices are identical to the prices at the lesser end stores. The last home decor item that I want you to invest in is one large statement piece. Now the key word there is one. I don't want you spending hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars on a statement piece, I want you to have one. So Kiva, what is a statement piece? By that I either mean a statement mirror or a statement piece of art. You want something that is grand and that is going to blow people absolutely away. That's what we want when people come into our home. I don't care if it's your mother, your cousin, your coworker, you want someone to say wow when they walk into your home and you need something oversized that's going to do that. Now I'm not saying that you need to invest in every single piece of artwork in your home. I want you to DIY things. I want you to get things from Etsy. I want you to go to thrift stores and find good things. But one Lux piece is really gonna make a difference. Now let's talk about my gilt mirror. So that mirror is $1,700 and if I could die in that like my bed, that's what I'd do. It is phenomenal and everyone who looks at it is in awe. And I'm not saying you have to spend that much money. You need to be careful to invest in a statement piece that is scaled correctly to your home. So I have 16 foot ceilings, so this mirror is appropriate. Now if you have nine foot ceilings, I don't know what you're doing, but you need to take it back to the store. Get something that works for your space. They have tons of them on Amazon and Wayfair and they're gonna cost you around $500. $500 for something like this is a really good price. You're not gonna get anything lower than that. Sure, you can get a statement mirror from a place like Home Goods or something like that, but everyone else is going to have it. And it doesn't make much of a statement if you're just copying and pasting from someone else's home. You also want a mirror that has some detailing, makes it interesting to look at, because a mirror isn't just for looking at yourself or reflecting light. It is a piece of art in itself, so it has to have something a little interesting to it. So you're gonna be shopping in a different section for mirrors that are a statement piece versus mirrors that you're looking at to get dressed in the morning. 
A really good option is the Primrose Mirror from Anthropology. This mirror is $498 for the three foot mirror. And I know you're like, that's a lot of money. So if you're investing in a statement piece, it doesn't have to be grand or massive. This primrose mirror is only three feet tall. And what you do is you pair that with a console table or a media cabinet or something like that. You can put your statement piece in the entry of your home so that people are wowed from the second that they walk in. That is a really good way to do it. Invest in things that people see and maybe save more money on things that are tucked away. Now, if you're not interested in a mirror, I'm gonna definitely tell you to get a big piece of art. Now, we love home goods, we love art, but the one bad thing about home goods is that everyone is buying the same things. For example, I have these two paintings of these two women that are etched, and I've seen them in just about every single YouTuber's house. There's nothing wrong with that, but then it doesn't make my home look unique. It looks like everyone else's home. So if we spend a little bit more money on art, we invest a little bit more time in finding good art, then we can have something that is a statement piece and sets us apart from everyone else. So that is a distinction that I need to make. When I say investing today, for the most part, I do mean money, but I also mean time. Time is worth something. So if you can't afford to buy a huge art statement piece, you can make one. Here is a clip of my statement piece in my home. This is a eight foot by eight foot piece of art that I created. It took me three days to make, um, it hurt my hands, I had to buy a lot of staples, babe and I got into an argument, but it was well worth it. We invested that energy in it and it makes a huge statement because that is what you see every time you look into our home. So you can either invest monetarily or temporally. If you want a statement piece of art and you wanna know where to look, you're gonna to wanna to look at somewhere like Great Big Canvas. Sure, when you are buying art that is printed and it is not original, you're going to be sacrificing some texture, but their art is pretty affordable. If you're getting a piece of art that is larger than 36 by 48, you're going to be spending at least $300. And that's for a canvas that isn't framed. And you wanna get at least one piece of art that is framed in your home because it looks like you liked it so much that you were willing to invest time to get it framed and to light it properly and things like that. Now, I know you're like, it's $300, but think about how much money you spend on all those little printed home goods and how that really accumulates in terms of price. More luxury homes don't have gallery walls unless they are in a hallway or something like that. On their big walls, they have one or two big pieces of art that speak for themselves. So instead of spending money on all of those little things, spend money on one oversized piece and it's okay to take time to look for it. I've been to home goods many times and I've been like, oh, someone else has that, I gotta get it. But what if that doesn't work for my home? You can't just jump at things because other people have them. Spend some time looking on Pinterest, looking at books, reading magazines, and really figuring out what art style works for you. Another really good way to invest in art is to, again, make it yourself. So look for inspiration. You're still going to have to invest money in buying those tools. So DIYing art isn't always the most affordable if you don't know how to do it correctly. The main reason that you need to invest in a statement piece is that you don't want to leave your walls bare. Your walls provide an opportunity to show your character, your style, your walls reflect you. So if there's nothing up on there, it just looks like a home that you, you know, don't really live in. It's not your home, it's just a house. And we want to bring ourselves into a home because that's where we spend all of our days, especially now given the fact that most of us are inside all day long. And since I gave you four home decor items that you must invest in, here is my bonus tip of the day. The things that you don't want to invest in are lighting and tables. I wanted to give you the bonus because you stuck with me till the end of the video. You don't want to invest in lighting because there's no point. Those $500, $1,000 lamps from RH, Crate & Barrel and stuff like that, they're $50, $70 at places like Amazon and Wayfair. So why spend money when you can get the same look for less? Also, don't invest in too many tables. Your side tables, your end tables, most of us are using them to eat, put our popcorn on, play our games on. We're gonna scratch them, we're gonna damage them, so let's not spend money on that, let's save our money. When it comes to tables, it's mostly about how you style them, not the table themselves. So, watch one of my other videos, such as my coffee table styling video, to figure out how to style your coffee table in a way that you don't have to spend much on the coffee table, you just have to spend money on the decor and you can redirect those funds to the more important things. Okay guys, those are the four things you should be investing in in your home. I'm telling you, they're going to take your home to the next level. Every time someone walks in there, they're gonna faint, they're gonna say, wow, it looks luxurious, it looks amazing, and you're gonna love it. Thank you so much for watching today's video and until next time, have a beautiful day.